Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is a, a tool called Microsoft Forms and how that can be used to integrate with Excel. If you don't know what Microsoft Forms is, Microsoft introduced it, I'd say around about three or four years ago, and it's a really, really user-friendly, dead, dead simple way to create online forms so or surveys. So if you're used to things like SurveyMonkey, then it does a very, very similar job, and they've done a fantastic job because it is so simple to get started with. And so for this example, what I'd like to do is create a form. It's going to be a sports quiz because I quite like my sport. And I want to show you how you can analyze those results in Excel. And then once you've done that, I'm going to show you a really cool way of actually how you keep the thing up to date as the responses come in. So let's get started with creating a new form. And let's call it the uh, let's call it the Excel Summit Sports Quiz. Right, so you can do things inside forms like you can add new images, etc., and and different colours. Uh, so let's pick a theme just to gloss this up a bit. Let's have that one. That's quite nice. So it's going to be a nice brown quiz. So once you've created your title, you then have got the option of using different types of questions. So you can have text, rating, and date questions. But for this, we're just going to use choices, and we're interested to find out what people think about who the best sports people are in their categories. So we want to know best footballer. Okay, and we're going to say Messi or Ronaldo. And you. Then we want to do the best rugby player, because I love my rugby. Player. And I'm going to say Dan Carter, who was just a magician at number 10 for the All Blacks. For our good old Johnny Wilkinson. And then finally, let's add one more. Another question, uh, choice question. Best tennis player. And then this has obviously got to be Federer versus Nadal. Or even maybe Djokovic. So that's it. That's the form created. Uh, it's dead simple, it's pretty much WYSIWYG, so you can see this is pretty much what the end user would see, uh, we're obviously with the exclusion of these uh, little tools here. But if you want to share that now, you've got two options. You can either share that people so it's secured down to people just inside your company, i.e. your tenant, or you can do it, which is really cool, you can actually share this with anybody on the internet, so it's a really good way of getting feedback from people outside of your company. So I'm going to copy that link, and then I'm going to bring up a new incognito window. So I'm actually kind of using this as a completely anonymous user just to show you it works. There you go. It looks exactly like we designed. Now I think the best footballer is Messi. I kind of think the best rugby player has got to be Johnny Wilkinson. And then I've always had a soft spot for Fedra. So I'm going to pick Fedra and click submit. And that's it. Very, 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 very simple. So already you can see that I chose Messi. Johnny Wilkinson and Federer. Now, if you want to analyze this data a bit further, just assuming this had like 50 questions, etc. If you want to analyze your data, what you'd do is you'd open Excel, because you might want to sort and slice and dice the data or pivot it, for example. And then what happens is Excel loads, and what we've now got the one response. So each response is given a specific ID. You can see what time I started it, when I completed it, that's always going to be anonymous for me because it was I shared it anonymously. They didn't know who I was. And then I chose Messi, Johnny Wilkinson, and Federer, which is really, really cool. So that's fantastic. So if you've got, imagine you've got thousands of responses, you could filter that data, sort the data, or do whatever you need to do in Excel. Now, one of the downsides of this, just imagine you've got extra columns here. So you wanted to supplement this forms data with some kind of calculation. So if you're asking people for their views and ratings on uh, rankings and you've got loads of financials in here, you might want to put your extra columns in there. Or if you wanted to share this with your team, then what somebody would have to do is they'd have to go into that form, export the response, then upload it and save it into your document library every time, you know, in a, you know, an hour a day or once a day or something. So the, the data would be a bit behind. So although this is really flexible for kind of one time snapshots, it's not really good if you want this thing to be centrally stored in Excel all the time. So what I want to do now is I just want to show you how you'd go about achieving that using a product called Power Automate. Now, if you're not familiar with Power Automate, it used to be called Microsoft Flow. And Microsoft Flow allows you to 
connect system. So if you want to connect SharePoint with Excel or SharePoint with Office 365, Power Automate will wake up based on a certain trigger which is defined. It will pass the data into that trigger and allow you via the series of steps to do things and manipulate the data and put it into another system. And so that's what I'm going to do now. So for this flow, what we're going to do is when a response comes in, we're going to take the response and we're going to put it into our spreadsheet that we've created centrally that's accessible via Teams and it means that our team can always see the up-to-date data as soon as it comes in live from the internet which is really really cool. So to do this let's just bring over Teams for instance. Now what I've got is in we've got a testing team here which is obviously just purely testing for this conference. Uh, so I've created a sports quiz to XLS I've already got a couple of items in there. We don't need those. Oh, I need to edit that. Don't need those. Get rid of them. So this is actually a data table inside of Excel, and you have to give it a make it a data table so that Flow can pick it up. Now, one thing to know is I couldn't find a way in Excel Online, which is what this is that you get to with Teams, to actually give it a name. But if you basically downloaded that from the library gave it a name and I've called it sports underscore underscores quiz then you'll be able to pick up that and use it within side flow if you don't do that it's going to have a name like table one table two table three and if you want to maintain your flows going forward that's going to get really messy so you definitely want to name your data tables but for our instance this is a data table it's called sports underscore quiz and we've already got two items in there so that's in there and, and the way we get to it in teams is I've it's in a file in the files and it's in a document library called sports quiz and if you want to see that in SharePoint let's just click open in SharePoint and there you go it's in a document library it's called sport quiz and it's really nice because I can access it via teams so now let's go over to Microsoft flow so my flows let's just get back to there see what we've got so I've tested one earlier so let's go and do a new flow So what, what they've done is Microsoft have created loads and loads of templates that are kind of predefined sets of flows that you can use. And you can see there's tons of them. You can filter it all at the top. So if you want to do something with email, so for example, if you want to start an approval and a new item is added into SharePoint, that looks like. Uh, if you want to do some processing with email when people put things into flow, there's tons of them. You can do things with calendars. Approvals is obviously a very big one for Power Automate. But what we're going to do is we're just going to create one from scratch. So we just click create there. I'm going to go automated flow and I'm going to call it a uh, solid flow. Now I wanted, in fact, it's the top one here. You can pick loads of triggers down here. But I'm really interested in when a new response is submitted to a form. So I'll do create. Just takes a bit of time to wake up. Here we go. Right, going to pick a form. Now I called it, what did I actually call it? Let me just Excel Summit Sports Quiz. Let's go back to that one. There you go. Right, so that's connecting my form to this flow. And then I want to add a new step, and the new step is going to be uh, a forms step. So I want to do things with the form response as it comes in. And what I want to do is I want to pick this action called Get Response Details. Now this will give me a handle on the current response that's just coming in. So again, you have to pick the flow. Uh, so I'm going to pick the Excel Summit Sports Quiz. I'm not really bothered about the response ID at the moment. So I'm just going to pick that one. I don't want to do anything with it, so I just pick this, which is the list of the response notification response ID. And then the next step I want to do is I want to go and put this into Excel Online. And I'm going to first off, I'm going to pick add a row into a table. So we're going to add a row. So once a response comes in into my form, we then add a row into a Excel table. Now this is where you go pick it. Now this is going to allow us to pick loads of things like OneDrive for Business or Office 365 groups or SharePoint sites etc. But the one we're interested in is the group testing team. Now we know it's 